Syncing your email to Pipedrive is one of the most powerful tools that Pipedrive has at your disposal. To do this, navigate to the Mail section of Pipedrive and either click Connect Your Email here or go to the three dots and go to Mail Settings. Here, click on Add New Account and type in your email address and then click Continue. It does help if you're already signed into that email account in the browser, so we'll select it here. When you get to this screen, make sure you check off all of these boxes to give Pipedrive all the access you need, and then click Continue. This will bring you back to a Pipedrive window with some additional settings. Here, first of all, you want to click Start Syncing. You can choose a date farther in the past if you would like. For now, we're just going to click Start Syncing. And now you have a few more options. For now, we're going to just leave all of these on and we'll come back to a couple of these settings later. For now, let's go to the General tab and check out these options. Default Email Sharing. By default, when you receive email, it goes to your private inbox in Pipedrive and no one else can see your inbox. This setting, keep all my email conversations private, ensures that nobody else will be able to see any of your email communications no matter what. This setting, share all my linked email conversations, means that if you have an email conversation linked to a person or deal record in Pipedrive, anyone else who has access to that record will be able to see the conversation. This is really powerful when it comes to keeping your team completely in the know of all communication that has happened regarding a deal. Linking items, whether manually or automatically, is sort of an important decision and your handbook will let you know which one of these options you should select based on your company's Pipedrive build. But as a brief overview, Linking items automatically means that Pipedrive will do its best to look at the email and see, based on who it's going to, what deal and person it should be connected to in Pipedrive. Usually that's a really great setting, um, but there can be some complications. Manually means that while any email can be connected to a deal or a person, you would have to do that manually from within the mail um, itself. Again, your handbook will indicate which one of these settings you should use. Going back to the account tab, these are the settings we left on, open tracking and link tracking. What these mean is that if you have open tracking on, you'll be able to see if recipients have actually opened and read the emails that you're sending. Similarly, link tracking lets you know if recipients have actually clicked on links within the emails that you have sent. There is, however, one additional step to ensuring that these settings are on, and that is we have to send an email and turn them on within that email. So let's go ahead and do that. In mail, we'll go to compose and just write a quick email. Now that we have our test email drafted, we need to turn on the settings. Down here, we have track email opening and track link opening. Right now, because they're grayed out, they are off. Once we click on them, they'll be blue, and now they are on. So let's go ahead and send this email. And now we can go to our sent items and see what this looks like. Here we can see that this was opened one time, and we see this circle next to the link that says not clicked yet. If I go click that, that setting will change. So I just went and clicked on that link and now we can see this has been clicked one time. Now that we've done this once, next time we go to compose an email, these will be on and as long as they're highlighted in blue, these are on and working for you.